Hi and welcome to another video of your tutorial series. This video is a continuation of the previous video. Uh, this video is in the kernel development and in this video we are going to see the practical example how to integrate the device driver in the mainline kernel. In previous video we learned about the theory and the brief explanation of the steps that we are going to follow. So let us begin. If you haven't watched the previous video, please watch that video first and then after that please watch this video. So in previous video we saw these steps step by step and before that we should know that we have to create this folder structure. So for creating this folder structure let me show you first the menu config because at the end you will see our device driver configuration in the menu config menu you can also see that this time I have removed this tab module this is our terabyte module and we will integrating this driver instead of using it as a module so and for that we will be using this bb append file and this you can see the fragment from the previous fragment video so now let us begin so let us see first of all the menu config so I'll do we'll go back and we will do uh, source our will source our environment and then we are inside build and what we will do here is we will first of all see the menu config and we will find a suitable place where we can put our driver so I will run it pick and I see menu click virtual kernel so here you see the menu config first of all we need to find the driver folder so the driver the folder is here it's the device driver and here you can see that the suitable place that I found is is this character devices menu inside this here we can put our hello world driver if you go help not a lot of info okay so this is a suitable place for us I would say so let us do first of all pit pick minus C clean a state for the kernel so let us do this first So now we have a clean kernel and the technique we are using here is using the patch. If you don't know how to write a patch you can follow along this video with me but if you want to know more generally how to write a patch for anything uh, uh, or any recipe in Yocto please watch my video on patch. So first of all what we will do is we will do pit bake minus c dev shell we want a dev shell uh, dev shell of what dev shell virtual kernel so we got the dev shell and this was the first step uh, for integrating the device driver the first step was to, to get the kernel sources so we are right now inside the sources uh, but I would like to go directly to my sources I, w I don't want to work here because it's uh, it's sometimes buggy so I'll go to my sources and here I'll go to work shared beaglebone and kernel sources so we are on the same path if you see the same path it's not a different one so here now the second step is we need to initialize the kit so what we'll do we'll do git init 
and then we will do git add all the star means all and then we'll do the initialization step by committing it so we will do git commit minus m initialize so this is the first step that we did so what we can do is we can check get status so we don't have anything new here right now so we have initialized it now what we have to do is to find the driver folder so if you can see here by ls we have here our driver folder so let's go inside the driver folder we'll do cd driver and here we have chosen the character driver that our suitable folder for the parent or the relevant driver folder so we think it is a char folder here so we will go inside here char and now the third step is to create our own driver folder so I would say we'll create make dir and we'll say hello we'll say tab hello or tab driver so we made a tab driver after that we'll go inside it cd tab driver and here we will create a kernel config file so we will do touch first of all we are creating this structure touch k config and this case capital and then we will create a make file touch make file and after that we need our sources to be here so we already have our sources uh, if we see here in our tab module previously that we had we have this source here tab module dot c so what we will do is we will have a path we will copy the path copy and what we will do we will paste it here cp and we will name it here as first of all we will copy it here then we will name it as tab driver tab dash driver or just tab driver I will say dot c so we have our driver here and now let us uh, do the entry in our k config so we'll do code k config this k config files allows the menu config to show the configuration and I already have a small k config that uh, we can copy paste and we will rename it so okay these tabs these are very important so if you miss the tab you will get the compilation error so you need this config and the name of the configuration this is the configuration that appears uh, on the def config file or if you create the fragment so this is the name that appears so we have to name it tab we will name it tab driver this is the convention that it should be capital and the underscore if you have multiple names and this space this tab space you need to be careful this help also if we for example if we for the help if we press H on the menu config so you will get this name so we have our tab this boolean means that uh, we have two options either we want yes or no here can also be write try state S try state try state means that it can be yes no or module so we can here also configure it as a module so right now I'll put it as a try state so we can also see how can we also integrate it as a module so it is a try state not yes no and then this kconfig is done now what we'll do is we will make changes in our make file let's right now empty 
so we need to compile our driver tab driver so I already have this so what we need to do is again this is the syntax here the name of the file but with dot o here we have with dot c the configuration name this is the same it should be the same as kconfig so we will say tab driver we can also confirm it once more to see tab driver but in make file it should be with config underscore tab driver so this is done so this step is also done so what we will do now is we will do the entry in the parent so what is our parent so we are inside the tab driver here so this character is our parent so what we will do is we will go one step back and first of all we will do the kconfig entry so we will do code of kconfig so kconfig works like in a hierarchy so what we need to do is we need to tell the kconfig so that inside that we also have one other sub kconfig so what we will do is we will copy the same here and give you the path so the path is char and tab driver I guess tab uh, sorry not here it is tab driver tab driver correct now we will save it and then we have to make an entry in the make file of the char so we will do code make file so this this step of the parent uh, make file we need to we will come at the end again what we need to do is we need to do the entry here and for the entry okay we can follow these uh, because we have a folder so we can follow this uh, this structure and what I will do is I will just paste it here I have one sample and here again we need to write the name of the driver or the con the name that we can select in the menu config it is again tab driver plus equal to in here we don't have the driver uh, file c file is in, in this ca character folder instead we have the old folder we will say tab driver folder and now we will save it so we have followed the step till here now we need to create the patch